Jacob Stick now joining us. Why am I out here right now? Because we still got one more tag team left. And this looks like it's gonna be like taking candy from a baby. So without further ado, from the Hollywood Hills in sunny California, Jiggy Jack Spade, JC Protégé, they are collectively known as the two-man boy band, and they are your Seven Rivers Wrestling Tag Team Champions. The two-man boy band making their way out here, G. Jack Spade and the Prada J. I kinda like the music, but I don't like them guys. Well, these guys are basically out here to pick the scraps. Table number 12 was assaulted by Alliance Pro. Lions Pro not really too concerned about the tag titles. Oh, Jack Spade was going to get kissed by a girl, and he decided not to. Ooh, I, think, I think there were some shenanigans going on she's here. Rick the Stick brought his own tag team out as a last team. Refresh. You know, I, I don't deny his tag team is the last ones out here. That's just the luck of the draw with tag team Dalton. It might be a little dubious, but that's just how the dice to fall. Something sometimes. smells rotten. I, that's me. That's those are sardines that you had earlier. All right, Jack, yeah. Well, the two band boy band, not loved here in Cashin, Wisconsin. I guess Cashin is not really a forward thinking town when it comes to music. I'm not a fan of the two band boy band. I like the music, but they don't like them guys. There's something fishy here. It ain't my sardines either. Um, Table 12 is going to have to have that third eye in the back of their head oh. because the big to stick out here. But Jack Spade having some off. difficulties getting in the ring. Two band boy band just partying it up here at night. Don't let it fool you. I've wrestled this tag team many times. And Jack Spade, I've been watching the last few matches. He gets to the top rope and he splashes. He's a 300 pound man. Very agile. Very agile for his size. Very agile. Oh, well, they're taking, telling the referee to well, get right down so they can make short work of these guys. This match is over already for start. Here it is. One. Two, three. Oh, Whoa. big kick out by both D-Rock and yeah. Josh Callista. This match will continue. They've got heart. They've got heart. You gotta be kidding me. Well, the two-man boy two, man now three. getting up in the face of our referee. I can count. Are you saying I can't count? Yes, Giving a statement on the club a lot of time here. Why, well, yes, Butchie, Jack Spade does have a crack problem. Yeah. Sorry, I can't, I can't see. I'm drawing pictures of Jack Speed's butt. That also looks like cleavage. Watch out. Counter. Oh. Two-man oh. boy band almost a meeting smart. the line. Yeah, they're too smart. Oh, there we go. Jiggy. Jiggy getting down with it. I hope Stable 12 can come back after that last oh. meeting. No. Oh, they missed. Double neckbreakers. Oh, beautiful. This match is maybe. Cover them, guys. Cover them. The new tag team champs. Josh Callisto, you can see he's still hurting from the last match. He's still hurting. Well, Callisto did a roaring elbow to that steel chair. It was out of instinct. He definitely did some damage to the elbow. You can see that. It might be out of joint. Well, I can tell you this much right now. Derek Cobain's back is killing him as well. Wait, these two young men, they're going to take whatever chance they have to here. And they're taking a fight to the floor. The action spilling out to the floor out here. A referee being really lenient with the 10 count. Very lenient. You know, definitely the fans want to see a winner in this tag team gauntlet. They don't want to see a double dis you know, double count out. Well, Callisto definitely favoring his arm. I think he's hurt. No, oh, he's hurt bad. Oh. Derek Bain back in the ring. I mean, this is asking him to come up. Come on. Stable number 12 has been in there a long time. Well, stable number 12 had to go through two teams already. Oh, that's oh. the clothesline. Oh, this is. Goes for the scoop. Oh, he got him up. Oh, oh. watch out. That back Way gave too out much. on him. Oh, I thought he had him. Callisto still 
holding his wrist on the outside. You gotta, Eric O'Bain, you can see you his gotta back remember, is hurting. You gotta remember, Stable Number 12 has been here over, what, 25 minutes already? Oh, well, definitely, 25 plus. I mean, they, they, they had the Brew City Bruisers, the Beer City Bruisers, pardon me, and they had the Lions What's this? Pro. They've got heart, you oh. can see, they're gonna. His shoulder shot, he's gonna tape himself up like Sabu. Well, definitely, if you get a chance over nope. here, Ryan Sachs, a, a friend of Stable Number 12, a former Stable Number 12 bandmate, helping out Josh Callisto to tape up his arm. They're wrestling on pure instinct. Well, that's not going to help him against the two-man boy band here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Spade now looking for that back here. Picks him up. Backbreaker. backbreaker. Oh, oh, and vicious. he knows that's smart wrestling. Got a hurt back already, and he's working on the back. Jack Spade showing the guns. Some people might call that shortcuts, but it's actually smart wrestling. So smart or not, they're doing what exactly what they need to do here tonight to actually hold on to those tag team titles. Jiggy picking up Derek. Gotta watch Throw out here. Oh! Another double team maneuver there. I hate Pot and Jay with the knee. Sneaky. Both of them are just sneaky. Don't like it. Working over those forearms right in the kidney region. Working over that back. I don't think that Josh Callisto should even be up on the apron right now. Let alone even in this match. But like I said earlier, statement number 12 want the belts. Oh. Getting dropped high and tight there. Right on his back. I've seen Josh Callisto wrestle with blood running out of his nose, ears, and he will still fight. He is a fighter. He will not he will not say give ever. He's trying to fire up the crowd right now, and he is hurting. Well, right now, that's a nice bow and arrow lock there by the prodigy. Driving that knee and pulling back on both the shoulder and the knee. Callisto. Oh, he wants to come in one arm and all. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Come on. Just just forfeit and fight another day, guys. Well, you know, Stable Number 12, no one ever said they actually had the best brains in the business, but they got the biggest heart. That's right. Here tonight, though, it's costing them dearly. They're getting worked over by the two-man boy. I would just forfeit the match and fight another day. Hey, yeah, back oh, and forth. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Come on guys, get behind Steel number 12. They're injured, they're hurt, they're tired, but you know what, they're not Jericho giving up. Jericho Bain, I think, is gonna be fighting back. They oh, want these tag team titles. Back, he's back and forth. The, he's punching into the chest. Derek is, oh, oh by the hair. Grabbed by the hair. Get after him, referee. Definitely, that was a shortcut from Vic to stick Ross's shortcuts. You can, you can buy it on paperback these days. That's right, just not good there. What's this? Oh, oh, working on the back some more. Yeah, working on Derek's back, working on Josh's shoulder. It's, I don't know, I'd forfeit. Fight another day, boys. Well, right now it's nearly academic. The two-man boy band are just three seconds away from holding on to the, S the Seven Rivers Wrestling Tag Team titles. This match has been going for 34 minutes and 22 seconds. And Stantmer over. Oh, oh a huge kick right in the Look at the pain on Derek Corbin's face. He is in lots of pain. World of hurt. But he will not say give. The man has got heart. He will not look at it. He was swinging his head. No, he does not want to give. Nice maneuver here. Him. Digging that knee right and just ball the back, pulling back on the shoulders. He He's got nowhere to go. Derek Corbin is one of the toughest competitors I know. He's fighting it. He's definitely fighting, fighting it. He's, He's fighting it back to a vertical base. It. Oh, look at his back. So red. Oh, oh hip toss. A oh, throw. into the wrong corner. Oh. They're just too young, too powerful, too fresh. The two-man boy band. You can pick up their records in any record store. Do they still have record stores? <laughs> I don't know. Must. Or you can pick it up on iTunes. Watch out. Going for that slice blend number oh. two. Wow. Stable 12 is good. They didn't even tag. They didn't even tag. Well, the referee's allowing it, though. What is going on I here? I cannot believe. I've seen this. Jiggy's going to the top. Well, Jack Spade, if he hits this Hold on match, tight. This could be it. Oh, this match is over. If he hits it, this match is over. And he oh, moved. He, he, missed. Moved. he missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. Oh. He missed. Come on. Come Derek on, Stable Bain. number 12. Come you on, can do Derek it. Come on, Derek Cobain. 
The hundreds the of people way. here at the community center are going crazy. Well, Jack Spade took too much time on that top rope. He want to make sure his footing was secure. And Derek Cobain is hurting. He is crawling. He is inching. He is trying to get his way back to the corner. But Derek Cobain's Brian. definitely got some back issues. Maybe a herniated disc. He's got to make the tag, but is that even the smart thing to do at this point in time? And Josh Callisto with one arm. One arm. But oh, it's a big elbow. elbow. Callisto. Oh, another big elbow. This is not smart, this young man. A one man, one arm man in an ass kicking contest ain't worth nothing. But he oh, had a huge spin wheel kick, ball. but it landed on kick. his arm though. Watch out. Oh, oh. 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 nice block there. Derek Cobain. He's going for his finish here. Oh, oh, there's the rubber sole right there. Oh, the Sorry, Larry, oh, Larry. Oh, Larry at Cover him, boys. Cover him. What's Next this? bailing out of the ring. Who's the legal man? Who's the legal man? You know, right now. Is it Derek now, Cobain or is it Josh Callisto? No, well, the other team. I well, don't I know. I it's Callisto and Spade right now. They're legal I men. I don't know. Let's watch it. Watch Vic the Stick. Vic the Stick is moving. Watch him. Watch Look him. Look at this. Trying to get him up. Got him That's up. a lot of heart right there. Oh. oh. Says Heyman, finisher number three right there. Bodies into the ring all over. Well, this is not good, folks. Come on, stable number 12. And we're gonna have new tag team champions here. Our stable number 12 gonna beat the odds. Stable 12. One, one, one two, two, three, yes! Oh. The new tag! Wait, got that what? Up in the what's this? What's no, this? What's, what's going on? Conor, Conor O'Reilly's coming Conor O'Reilly? What the He's heck not in is this going match. on? He's not Kendall in this Morgan match. here at Community oh. Center. Oh, oh what was pan. that? That's a frying pan. Oh my gosh. He hit him in the head with a frying pan, oh. folks. What, what's going on? My money's at stable number 12, but what is going on? No, no. No referee. Come on, not like this, not like this. No! The two-man boy band. Winner of this matchup. They retain the and tag team title. Seven Rivers Wrestling Tag Team Champion. This ain't right. The two-man. Something Bulls spells rock into the ring, and it's not you, Bucci. Okay. What's that? Wait, what's that? Oh, Connor Riley. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What's going on, guys? What are they doing out here? Oh, what's this? Uh oh. 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 Join a lion's throw. No. Not good for Seven Rivers Wrestling oh here. Oh my gosh. The two man boy band. Hold on to the Seven Rivers Wrestling tag team title. Thanks to the assist. The from shenanigans that go on. Watch that. No. I've been away for a while, people, but I know what's going on, but I'm confused. Well, folks, we're going to try to get to the bottom of this. I know up next is supposed to be Connor Riley and H.P. Riley. Or, or, wait, wait, wait. Well, it looks like we're actually gonna go backstage right now. I, Nick Wagner's got an exclusive for Sex to KC. Let's see what this is about. Oh, jeez. Is it worse? Oh, yeah. Sex to KC, Sex to KC. Oh my God, I'm so glad I found you. Wow, it's been so long. I mean, right? I mean, I haven't seen you in so long. Are you bothering me again? What do you want now? I, I just noticed how disgruntled and mad you were at the last show at Misfit Manners. I mean, you took your frustrations out on A.C. Riley. I gotta ask why. Why did I... I didn't wrestle A.C. Riley at Steamboat Days, you tool. I wrestled Misfit Manners. I killed Misfit Manners. I took him out, and you're gonna be wearing more than a neck brace if you don't get out of my face. What do you want? I... What are your plans for tonight, then? What are you doing here? My plans for tonight? You see this? It's the briefcase there, Marty. And I'm telling you right now, the best part about the last two months is when I took that little runt, Misfit Manners, and I caved his skull in. And then I took his little hussy girlfriend, and I punched her right in the stomach so hard, she about puked. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? In all due respect, sir, I. What if Misfit's here tonight? I've what, what if did he? You say to me? Well, I mean, he's been looking for his briefcase. I mean, what if he's looking for revenge? What if he's coming? What did you say to me? You know what? Clean yourself up here. You uh. You said you wanted to be friends, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. You really want to be friends? Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Marty. I've got an idea. I got it. I got an idea on how you and I, you and I can be friends. Clean yourself up a little bit. 
Let's uh let's take a walk. <laughs>